Aloha everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, aloha for the first time. My name is Brittany, and I mostly do unboxings, but occasionally I'll throw out some other stuff, like a makeup thing, or a <laughs> skincare routine, or an empties video, um, but yeah, so today... I am going to be doing a Mother's Day look featuring purple. This is in collaboration with Stay at Home Mama Makeup Budget Tammy and Aries Life. They're doing a Mother's Day collaboration using purple with a few other ladies on YouTube. So please go check those videos out after you've checked out mine or if you've already watched some of them before mine, that's awesome too. Just make sure you check out all of the videos on the playlist for this collaboration. You can have a chance to win a prize, so that's pretty fun. But if you want to see how I came up with this look, then keep watching. If you're like, that looks terrible, well, you'll still have to watch if you want to win. <laughs> Anyways, what I did to create this look was a kind of roulette style makeup thing. I keep all of my makeup in bags like these per category. So I have one for bronzer, one for blushes, one for highlight, etc, etc, etc. So aside from a few brushes and tools and the eyeshadow palette I'm going to use because that's the one thing I know is purple. I picked everything out of the bag and came up with this look. So that's that and we are going to get started right now. One last sip of coffee before we, can, we begin this whatever this is going to be. Okay, so first we're going to start out with primers. I'm just going to open this bag, pick one, pull it out. Okay, so this is the Benefit Professional Primer. It's the regular one, so, and it is actually brand new. I have not opened this yet. I got this in a boxy charm. I don't even know if I like this primer. Oh, I hope this goes well. <laughs> this could be a disaster, but maybe it'll be the most amazing makeup look ever. Completely left the chance. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna... Hmm. It's an interesting scent to it. I'm just gonna put a light layer of this on my face, concentrating on the areas that my pores look the largest, which is for me right here. That's where my pores generally look the largest. Alright, skin is primed. This has kind of like a slippery texture. I don't know if you guys have ever used the Benefit Professional Primer. I think I used to get like teeny, 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 tiny little samples of it in Ipsy, <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't really enough to make an informed decision whether I liked it or not, I don't think. If I even ever used those, I can't remember. But, okay, skin primed. So, the next thing after primer, I do my foundation. I know some people like to do their eyes first and whatnot. I do not. I like to do my foundation pretty much my whole face before my eyes. So I am just going to take my foundation bag, pick a foundation, and we're going to put this baby on now. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And what I like to do with this is just pour a little bit on the back of my hand. I am in the shade 125, I think it's golden beige, nude beige. What are you? Nude beige. 
So I just pour a little bit on the back of my hand there. Take my, I use a brush for foundation. I know some people like to use a sponge. I usually keep my sponge handy for if I'm getting like towards the end of my makeup look and my foundation's looking a little rough. I'll usually spray my face with water and kind of dab, especially if my um, concealer starts to get creases, but I like to use a brush for foundation. Actually, I just take a little bit on the brush and just kind of stipple it onto my face. Do you like to do your foundation with a brush, with a beauty blender, or do you prefer hands? Sometimes if I'm really rushed, I'll just go ahead and use my fingers. I don't know if anyone else does that or not. But most times I do prefer a brush. Just gonna take a little more to do the other side of my face. And I go from the middle of whatever section I'm working in and usually work my way out. And I don't try not to go too far up underneath my eyes so that I don't use a lot of product where my concealer would go. Try to get as decent of a blend as I can. I'm really glad that the foundation I pulled out was actually one of the ones I like the best. Because I do have a few foundations in my collection that aren't the best skin tone match for me, or aren't the best, um, my favorite formulas, I guess you could say. Okay, that's a little too much. I'm just going to put the excess on the back of my hand so I don't have too much product going everywhere. And then just stipple it out on my forehead. into my hairline so that that's not looking all crazy. And just bring it a little bit onto my jawline and towards my neck. Alright, I think that is that, but I am going to spray just a little bit of what is this? My Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. On my face because A, it feels really nice. And B, I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender and dab it to just blend it in a little bit more. I like to get the, most of the time, I'm okay with just the brush, but sometimes I just want it to blend in a little more, so I'll grab my beauty blender and kind of just go over it. I actually feel like I want just a little more coverage right here, because I have a little bit of redness there for whatever reason. I think it's allergies. I don't know what it actually is, but there you go. Alright. Now that my foundation is done... I'm just going to take a little cotton pad and wipe that foundation off of my hand because I am not near a sink right now. So there's that. All right, concealer. Now it is time for concealer. This is my concealer bag, yes. All right. Ooh, hopefully I pick a good one. <laughs> All right, let's see. Morphe. That's okay. This one's okay. All right. I'm going to do the Robert Welsh technique. If you don't know who Robert Welsh is, he's a professional makeup artist, like a real professional makeup artist, but also he's on YouTube. And he has a concealer technique where he does like two dots in the corner of the eye, one dot on the outside. He does not like wasting product. And I found this technique actually works pretty well for me. 
So yeah, and then once I do that, then you just basically blend the product in place. So on the corner of my eye, I just blend that there until it's blended. And then on the inside corner of my eye, I take it about halfway and then up in the, my inner corner. And I blend that until it's blended pretty well. And then once it's blended pretty well, I take just whatever is left on my finger and bridge the gap between the two sides. Just so that's not an excess of product. And I use my fingers. I know some people can use a beauty blender, some people can use a brush. I prefer my fingers because I like the heat from my fingers. It makes the product a little more malleable. And then I do the same thing on the other side. I just blend it, blend, blend, blend. And on the inner corner blend. And then take it across. And what I like to do immediately after my concealer is set it with powder. So at this point I usually just have a powder already setting by me so I can quickly grab it and set. But we're doing roulette today so let me grab a powder from my powder bag. I, I usually tend to use one powder so this is not the one I use but we'll use it for today. This is the Pretty Vulgar Translucent Setting Powder. Tap a little bit into the lid. Where's my powder brush? Just gonna take, I'm, gonna, I'm taking it from the lid now. And then I just use a light, light coating under my eye. Oh, that is why I do not use this powder. It does not look the best under the eye. That's all right, we'll make it work. Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna use my color switch to kind of dust off any excess powder and lightly sweep under my eye so it doesn't look so cakey. Oh, that eye. The texture is real. When my powder does this, what I like to do again is take this uh, mist spray. Um, this doesn't always work, but sometimes it does. And then I take my beauty blender and kind of press it into the skin. The powder I prefer to use because and also I don't generally use the Morphe concealer just because it does crease a little bit more than my two other ones I rotate between and then I haven't used this powder for setting my under eyes in a while but this is a roulette so you just you do the hand you're dealt and you try to make the best of it it's pretty cakey underneath there, not gonna lie. And usually this technique works really well when I'm using the products I normally use. So not the best concealer and powder combination, but we're gonna make it work today. All right, just put that powder back in my powder case. What we're going to move on to now is my brows. I like to do my brows after I've done my face. And okay, so this is the Brow Bar by Rima Brow Kit. So we're going to use that today. It's so funny when BoxyCharm originally sent me this, <laughs> I had blonde hair. Um, and I do put light brown because I like my eyebrows to be a little bit darker than my hair. But this is like auburn. Like it has red in there. So when I first got it, I was like, why do I need an eyebrow kit with red? But now that I've dyed my hair red, it's actually fine. All right. 
I'm going to do a little bit of brow gel first, and this actually comes with a brow gel. So that's pretty sweet. If not, I just would have used the brow gel I had over here, because I only have two brow gels. <laughs> getting in the way. That's why I usually pull my hair back for makeup. What do you guys do? Do you like use a hair band? Do you pull your hair back? Do you just do your makeup with your hair down? If you do that, kudos to you because it would, even like, my little baby hair is like constantly getting in the way. So I do not know if I would be able to do my makeup with my hair down. Alright, brow gel done. Now we're going to dip into these little powders over here, and see what happens. <laughs> I've actually used this a few times. My go-to brow products are usually brow pencils, but I don't mind this powder at all. I'm just going to take the lighter shade and do the front of my brows. Actually, I was gonna try to bend down and use this mirror down here, but I'm just gonna pick it up, okay. And try to do it where you guys can see it. But I'm just doing the front of my brows right now with a lighter color in the duo. Oh, and in case you guys didn't see it, this is what it looks like. There's a lighter shade, a darker shade, and then a concealer. I will not be using the concealer in this particular thing because I don't like it. I actually brought the concealer I always use for my brows. There are a few products over here that I am going to use. One one of my brushes, I like to pick out my brushes beforehand. I don't want to leave that to chance. <laughs> and then I have a setting spray and a mist and then my brow concealer. But everything else is going to be completely left up to chance and fun times. All right, I'm going to do the other first half of my brow on this side. And then after I do that, then I'll go in with the darker shade towards the end of my brows. Oh, my little baby hairs, man. They're just wanting to say hello today. Okay, going into that darker shade on the back part of my brow. I go from about the arch down as far as that's concerned. And then I just take a tiny bit and just lightly sweep it towards the front. I don't fully do it, but just lightly sweep it towards the front. Alright, that's good enough for government work. That's what I used to say when I was in the military, <laughs> good enough for government work. I was always joking, of course, but okay, this is my brow stuff. Alright, that's going back in there. And then we are going to do my concealer underneath my brow. I just used the highlight side of this stick. This, this is a double-ended stick from Billion Dollar Brows. One side is a concealer. One side is a highlighter. I just used the highlighter as concealer. You know what? We're going to do it. Why not? Not how I typically do my brows, but highlighted concealer brows. That sounds awesome. Just a little smudge brush. You know, weirdly enough, I don't hate it. I mean, I don't know if I just continue doing this from now on, but it's not terrible. That's not the most awful thing I've ever done in my life. Alright, so now I generally do the rest of the face 
Um, usually powder products, I'm going to start with bronzer. Okay. This is a Fenty Beauty Match Stick. This is in the shade Rum. It's a little bit shimmery, but that's alright. I'm just going to draw it on where I want it to go. Alright. And then I am going to take my bronzer brush and blend it up. anywhere today. Well, I'm going to be going to the grocery store, but I don't care. <laughs> we are pretty much out of groceries, so yes, I might be going to the grocery store today. And I just kind of press it into the skin and upwards. That's how I do my bronzer, at least. Even if it's a powder product, I'll still usually use this motion because I don't want to drag and make it look muddy. Just finishing up my bronzer and then we are going to move on to blush so let's see what blush we get to do today Kurt. this is oh if I've used this one before um doesn't smell like anything this is the Tarte Party Dress Blush. Alright, let's see. I don't know. This might be really pigmented. Yeah, it's not bad. All right, so there is the blush, and now time for highlighter. Okay, I can't peek. This is like a, an open top thing, so I'm not going to peek. I'm just going to pick one. Natasha Denona Glow. Alright. This is, let's have a shade all over glow. Zero one light is what that one is called. So we are just going to highlight now. It's my highlighter brush. Do you guys like a brush like this for highlighter, a fan brush, or do you use like smaller brushes? What do you use? I like the I like a fan brush. That's what I prefer personally for highlighter. And I like to do a nose highlight. I know some people don't. I do. Just a little bit in my cupid's bow. And then I'll usually take a little bit and kind of press it beneath my brow. I know I've technically already highlighted under my brow um, on accident, but you know, whatevs. All right, so that's my highlighter. Yeah. 
Okay, now, now is where I like to do eyes. So it's once I've gotten pretty much all my face makeup done except for my eyes and lips, because lips are last. That's when I like to do eyes. So let me actually go hop and get my purple palette real quick and I'll be right back. I went for a palette I knew for sure had purple in it, or at least a couple of purples, which is my Jeffree Star Jaw Breaker palette. So what I think I'm going to do first is lay down a transition color. I think this Good Morning shade is a little like light for a transition color, but oh well. I just realized I didn't put any eye primer on. Oops. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is just a little bit light for a transition color, so I'm going to go into this cone color right here. It's like a really light brown. And that's a little bit better as a transition color. For sure. this purple bite me <laughs> it's a little shimmery I'm gonna do that on the outer corner of my eye it's actually pretty I don't know if I've ever actually used this shade before I don't know if I, I don't know if I've dipped into it or not previously, so. I'm just kind of painting it to the outer corner of my eye and then I will fill in probably about towards the middle of my eye with the purple. Maybe not quite to the middle. on this side. Oh, I went too high. Oh, oh well. That's fine. Okay, so that's like kind of towards the middle. I'm actually going to take a clean blending brush and warm that out a little bit because I went a little high on this side. So hopefully make that a little less noticeable. And on this side. And take a little of that on my finger and kind of press it into the corner because it was a little less pigmented on that side. Okay, and now what I want to do is I am going to take this 
um, light purple right here and put that on my inner inside of my eyelid. That's called gumdrop. <sighs> Very powdery. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I am going to take that Good Morning shade again that I tried at first and just kind of go over the top of everything. To just try and make it a little less harsh. Okay, now I need an inner corner shade. I know I said that's the last thing, but it's not. I'm going to take this pretty pink snack shade right here and just stab that in the inner corner. So that is the purple for my eye look. Now we are going to pick eyeliner. I'm pretty sure this is my eyeliner bag. Okay. I hope I get a good one. Oh, I hate using this one. This is going to be a train wreck. So this is the Kat Von D Dagger Tattoo Eyeliner. And the tip on this, for me at least, is a little bit difficult to work with. So hopefully this goes well. I'm not going to do a wing with this. I'm just going to try and get as close to my lot. <sighs> Alright, that wasn't close to my lash line at all. Oh no. This is turning into a disaster. <laughs> This happens every time I use this eyeliner. I don't get anywhere close to my lash line. I have to make this big, like, bold liner thing happen. When generally with my liner, I do try to get kind of close to the lash line and just... That's it. But it's a little bit difficult for me to work with personally. If you use this liner and you rock it out, then more power to you. But I am not one of those people that is amazing at using this particular liner. or like distant cousins but that's okay <laughs> all right so that is a liner now it's time for a mascara oh, there's my mascara bag oh mascara bag where are oh, it's hiding beneath all my other bags here's my mascara bag I'm just gonna pick one. Oh, i have like three in my hand hold on This isn't the best one either, but that's okay. This is the Petite and Pretty Fully Feathered Volumizing Mascara. I like to do my, my mascara. I do the tops of my lashes, and then I go underneath, blink, and wrinkle, and get my hair in my mascara. Or my mascara in my hair. <laughs> Are these little 
baby hairs. Does anyone else have little bitty baby hairs that just get in the way when you're trying to do your makeup? Because I do. Okay, another side, tops. And the bottom. I don't mind this mascara. It just doesn't give me like the full volume and length that I want. But if you're looking for like an understated, like more simple look, then it's it's fine. I got a little bit of mascara right here. So I'm just going to gently dust that away. Brush. I had eyeshadow on before and just lightly dust it so that it's not as noticeable that I had mascara everywhere. Alright, so that is everything but the lipstick and lip gloss. So let's put that on and hope it doesn't completely ruin this look. Alright, lipstick. dead nude. Hmm. Okay. This lipstick makes me look dead. No joke. This is a NYX lingerie cashmere silk lipstick in Lipley. I'm so glad I'm going to be putting a lip gloss on after this. I think I got this in a Walmart beauty box, but I'm so glad I get to put on the lip gloss after this because this is brown. Beautiful. All right, so that is the lipstick. I'm gonna let that dry down just a smidge while I'm picking out a lip gloss. Please be pigmented and pretty. Please be pigmented and pretty. Okay, I actually do like this lip gloss. It's just not as pigmented as I was hoping for this particular lip color. Uh, just gonna pat that down a little bit and make sure it is not tacky. Okay, this is the um, Vintage by Jessica Leapskin Gloss in pink, uh, pink sequin. So I'm just going to pop that. See that? <laughs> I'm going to pop this over the top of that lip. A little bit more over the top lip. a little bit more pink. I wonder if I add a little bit more if it'll... Alright. That's not the most exciting lip for this purple look. But I mean, maybe that's what I need to balance it out. I just... I wish my lips were just... A Hinge more pink. No, that would be going against the rules of the roulette, so I'm not going to put a slightly more pink lip gloss on, but this is the, oh wait, it's not the finished look. I gotta spray my setting spray. I only have two setting sprays, and this one is like almost empty, so that's why I grabbed this one. Alright. Oh, and that is the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. Um, yeah, this is the finished look. Actually, let me put my hair down because that's really the finished look, right? Alright. So 
there we go. That is my Mother's Day look featuring purple. So if you like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Helps me rate what, helps me gauge what kind of content you guys like. And then if you've watched a few of my other videos and you enjoy my content, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And then leave a comment down below. What did you think of this look? What did you think of the roulette? Roulette. I don't know where that came from. The roulette style kind of makeup thing. Do you like the finished look? Do you think the lips should be a little more pink or do you think they're fine the way they are? Anyways, whether you like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe, comment, or don't comment. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!